Hi, welcome into Love Goddess Tarot. Today's reading is going to focus on messages for you about what's coming next in love. And I decided to use the Animal Spirit deck today. And these are the four little animals that I was feeling. So um, see which energy you're feeling today. And if you can't decide, this is a general reading. So the way pick a cards work is you pick a card and that'll be your reading. But by all means, feel free to listen to as many as you're called to listen to. Most of all, this is supposed to be fun. Okay, so sit back, relax, get comfy, get cozy, get yourself a drink, you know, fold your laundry. I, I love it. I have subscribers that like to listen to me while they're doing various things. And if right now you're doing that, hey, I'm so happy to be here with you. Okay, so here we go. Group number one, you have the owl. Group number two, you have the dragonfly. Group three, you have the fox. And group four, you have the turtle. Okay, you can skip ahead if you want. The timestamps are below. I'll see you in just a minute. Hi, number one, you were drawn to the owl card today. I love, love, love the owl. Owls are really important messenger for me. They may be for you. For me, there's a lot of Capricorn energy around this, this, um, this animal. Uh, it might not be for you, but I'm just going to throw that out there. That might be a connection that we share. Also, this is a really good omen card. So it's like good luck, good fortune, um, something positive coming your way. So I feel like because you were drawn to this card today, your reading is really supposed to focus on that, focus on good luck, good things, good fortune coming. Um, obviously, owls are also associated with wisdom. Um, this can be like you've gotten really smart you've gotten really wise you've had some lessons about love and now it's going to pay off i kind of feel this very positive energy coming in but let's see what we have what's next for number one okay those two came out Beautiful. Um, there's definitely a message here about balance. We do have right at the center of your reading, the two of pentacles, which is all about balance. Okay. Um, this is earth energy. So we could be looking at Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So Capricorn's definitely coming in right here at the center. And we have more pentacle energy with the six, okay? And the six is also about balance. It's three on one side, three on the other. It's generally about having enough to share. So I feel like what's coming next for you in love is really... Um, You've been getting your priorities straight when it comes to what you want. You may have been juggling like work and relationship or two, for some of you, two people, like, you know, couldn't decide between a past person and moving forward with a new person. That could be some of you. I feel like maybe there was a lack of excitement. Maybe there was a lack of like passion or just like something to get really excited about you know maybe you were just bored with the whole love scene that was going on for you but I feel like you've sort of you've learned a lot whether you were dealing with selfish people you may have some of you may even have like a fire sign in your past a Leo Sag Aries or just someone who wasn't giving you what you were giving right? Something that was not balanced. What I see coming for you, especially with these two cards at the middle and end of your reading, is a balanced connection. I see love being fair. I see someone coming in or a connection with someone that you have now that is going to be like, it's going to be fair. It's going to be like, even it's going to be you're getting what you're giving i have to fix my candles hold on just a sec what's funny about that is before i started i was going to reset the candles because i knew they were close to the end and i thought oh let me just you know get that little last bit out of there and then one went out and one didn't right 
the flame went out <laughs> literally um this is the flame going out which is interesting this is getting balanced back again one candle out one candle on is off balance so isn't that funny i just wanted to point that out because nothing in a reading isn't for a reason right so that's just kind of really bringing home what I was feeling is that you're moving towards a connection or a relationship or a situation within a relationship you're in now where it's going to be more balanced, right? It's going to take all of your focus. That's the other thing about an owl. An owl really has great vision. They can see things from far away. They focus. This is about focusing. This is about, you know, putting one of the pentacles down in order to really focus on and give your attention 100%. So I feel like you're going to be giving your attention 100% to um, a love energy, whether it's, you know, someone you're in a connection with right now, someone you've just met, or um, someone new. But I, th I see this flame going out over here for the past, for either you're done with boring situations or you're done with a certain person who was selfish, right? It's going to be different for everyone, but that's what I'm feeling. So I feel this energy of an earth sign. I'm leaning towards Capricorn, which is what I felt initially, but it could be Virgo, it could be Taurus, or it could just be someone who's very grounded, someone who's practical, and someone who's going to give you what you are giving, who's going to give you that foundation and that solid love, very earthly. And also, I feel like this, this energy of a very close connection and um, someone who likes to hold hands, somebody who's affectionate, somebody who is going to express their love. So that's, that's what I'm feeling so far. Now, I want to get an overall message about this connection and about love in general for you. What's coming next for number one? From the Crystal Oracle. You have Desert Jasper, which is Vesta. <laughs> it's funny. Vesta is the asteroid of like the home fires burning, keeping the home fires burning. This is the fire going out. We had the fire going out, and you're getting the message of the asteroid of fire. So that's kind of interesting. Um, resolve. So interesting interesting resolve is really a message about staying the course about becoming wise about really not giving up which is what i see with that strong strong owl energy i love that and it's exactly what i was feeling like for the owl which is like everything that you've been through has led you to this moment right and no one else has taken the journey that you've taken but you have learned a lot that's what the des desert jasper is coming through for you today. And um, it's really also, I feel like, about making a decision, about deciding to focus on um, a specific person or a specific way that you want to be in relationship. I see that coming through. The activation message says, take some time to reflect on where you begin began this journey. What were the moments that tested you? What were the moments of confirmation in which you felt utterly and truly supported by the universe hold space for all of these experiences for if for if you have one without the other your journey would have not been uniquely yours so this is about being confident and making decisions going forward. And that is really what this card is about. It's about you making decisions. You're going to reap even more, I think, than what you're expecting in relationship. I see a big shift here because we're going from a two to a six. You're going from juggling to having to focus on one you know one connection one way of moving forward in relationship but it grows to six and that's enough to share so i always look at the six of pentacles as having more than enough so i feel like this connection this love energy that's coming for you is going to be much more bountiful than it has been before and you need to know that you're going to make the right choice whatever it is doesn't matter it's going to be the right choice because it's going to be the choice that you make so I see you making a choice coming up, number one, and I think it's going to lead you to a really, really nice connection. Wow, beautiful. 
alone time. <laughs> there you go, the wise old owl, taking time to yourself to figure things out. Some of you are been really going to need some alone time to figure this out, to figure out what you want to focus on, and to also, for some of you that are making a choice, um, maybe you're making a choice about work, and that work ch choice is going to lead you to a, a big, you know, strong connection, okay? I'm also looking here at the Twin Flame card at the bottom of the deck, and we have the two here and the two here, so that's really interesting. Okay, I'm going to roll the after dice. Let's see what other signs and symbols come through for you about what's coming next in love. Jupiter, good luck, good fortune, first house, yourself. Sagittarius, also Jupiter energy and expansion and the north node of destiny. Wow, yes beautiful energy abundance is coming this is time to focus on you that alone time message the first house in astrology um because you've learned some you take some time to figure out what it is you want and to make whatever decisions you have to make when it comes to love this path that you're on is a very powerful one and it's karmic when it comes to relationship energy so number one i see you connecting with someone in a very powerful way and also getting what you deserve i feel like you've been through some stuff and you've gotten really wise about it and you're letting go of selfish people people that aren't really part of your journey but you're taking all the good and the bad and you're you're learning from it so I think that's that's a really beautiful message for you today. Okay, I am gonna no oh, and look what just jumped out. The Gemini charm. Okay, that's funny. We have twin flame too. We have the two of pentacles there. Okay. Okay, so the moon jumped out there, emotional connection. Um, oh, we have two moons. I love that. Oh, there's two again. Twin flame energy. Twins, two, two. Um, we have a big open heart. You have the good luck message. Jupiter, Sagittarius, good luck, expansion, good fortune, the penny, which is one cent. Focusing on you, yourself. What do you want? Alone time. You also have the protective energy of the dream catcher. You have a message of flexibility with the palm trees, but also maybe there's a connection to going on a vacation, going to a place where they have palm trees. And you have the Christmas tree, which is December time frame, also Sagittarius energy. So some of you could be um, connecting with love or having some important breakthrough around December. Okay, so those are all your messages today about what's coming next in love. I love it. Can't wait to hear all your comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, write everything below, and let me know what you thought of today's reading. I'm sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number two, you were drawn to the message of the dragonfly spirit. And dragonfly is really a message about focus. Um, I'm also feeling this energy, like maybe some of you that that are here listening to this have maybe floated around. Maybe you've not really been in a serious connection or you've dated a lot or you haven't just really f felt like you've gotten that like serious connection right and so this is a message about focusing this is also a message about um watching for the signs and symbols so maybe for some of you synchronicity is a big word so um but let's see what comes through what messages do we have for number two today about what's coming next wow okay we have 10 of swords let me turn these over Um, you have the Ten of Swords reverse there. Ooh. Eight of Wands. Four of Wands. Beautiful. Okay. Here's what I'm feeling. Ooh. 
right off the bat, I mean, look at this. This is a really harsh <laughs> image, this, this poor bull with 10 swords in him. Um, it is reversed and the 10 of swords is like the end of a difficult cycle. Tens are endings, right? And so I love when the Ten of Swords is reversed because it's, you're ready to stand up. You're ready to begin again, okay? So I feel like this is a message about leaving the past behind, leaving old connections behind. Um, maybe some of you have gone back and forth with an ex, you know, you break up, you get back together, you break up, you know, or um, just repeated patterns in relationship and that's over. Okay. That's the good news. That's, that's behind you. Um, and then right at the center here, we have um, the beautiful eight of wands. The eight of wands is a message of expansion. It's about, it's really kind of very close to the dragonfly in that it's like, checking out a lot of things, going out there, trying a lot of different things, which is exactly what I was feeling. Like sometimes it can indicate dating online, using the apps, meeting a lot of people, okay? But what I do see besides this, all of this sort of, you know, lots of activity. So I do see lots of activity coming up. If you don't have any right now, I do see that happening for you. And I think you're the one that has to initiate it. So I do think that it's like, you need to, you know, get that profile up, get, get out there, explore different things, try different things. So I see a message here about trying new things, trying different things. There could be some travel involved. There could be for some of you, a uh, Sagittarius energy or foreign person or someone from a different culture but I just see a lot of like flitting around okay picture a dragonfly so there's a message of you trying a lot of things get out there try a lot of things but then I also see this beautiful energy of the four of wands and the four of wands is the 1111 card so if that's a symbol for you a sign an angel number that you connect with well that's come up so you're on the right path is that message and what i see you doing is trying out a lot of different relationships leaving all this old garbage and baggage behind and moving towards maybe even a commitment this could also mean a wedding an engagement a party um, a family get together something like that connected to love so this is really good. I mean, you're starting off here in the past with some tough energy. Now there is a bull in this picture. So maybe some of you dealt with a Taurus or you're a Taurus or you have Taurus placements. Um, it can just be symbolic, but it could also represent those signs. So I just want to say that, but there's a lot of fire coming for you. So I see fire sign energy, meaning uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries are, you know, could be part of the future. So I love it. It goes from difficult to a lot better. <laughs> okay. And I think the message here is that you're going to get out there. You're going to try lots of things. Um, but ultimately you're going to, by doing that, you're going to be led to something lasting. Okay. So there's even a possibility for some of you of an engagement coming up. So if you're planning a trip, if you've been dating someone foreign, if you've, you know, if you're like out there trying, you know, dating a lot of different people and you're like, oh my God, I can't take it anymore. Just know that you're moving towards something more um, stable and you're moving towards focus, focusing on one person and focusing on one connection. That's what I see here. Okay. Now. I am going to pull you a crystal message. Let's see what's coming next for number two. Okay, beautiful. You have number 28. That could be a number that means something to you. We have Emerald, Mercury, Cognizance. So interesting so mercury mercury is the ruler of gemini and virgo i think of a lot of communication when i think of mercury um it could be about studying it could be there could be some connection also to a gemini or virgo for you in love but let me read you the oracle message um about this 
Okay, so it's interesting because Mercury is about the way you communicate. Um, you do have the Ten of Swords here. Swords are air sign energy, which, you know, Mercury, that talking, communicating. Maybe there's a pattern that you're leaving behind. Maybe there's something that you're looking at in terms of the way you communicate with partners and potential dates um, that you need to kind of take a look at because the activation guide here says, look at a copy of your natal chart and identify which sign Mercury is located. In defining this, you can unpack details on how your communication style has been birthed, how it shapes your personality, and what it means for you, okay? And the message here is, I am conscious of the impact of my words. I communicate with clarity and authenticity. So, yeah, this is a message about you really focusing on your words, on the way you communicate leaving behind any patterns, people, or things that aren't working, expanding, and then actually ultimately finding a connection with someone where you're really able to communicate and be yourself authentically. So, wow, that is a beautiful message. I love it. Okay, so focus on. Now, if you don't know your natal chart, Mercury, um, you can just go online to any site, just Google, you know, um, astro charts. Obviously, I do astrology readings, but you can get it free online. Check out your sign and then um, look into it. Okay, think about also, you don't have to do that. Just think about the way you communicate. Is Has that been an issue? Do you need to speak up? Do you, you know, just, just like think about that because there is a message here for you today. Um, refreshing change. Ooh, that's what's coming. Here's that ending and you're moving towards a refreshing change. Okay, something, something different is coming in for you. I love it. Okay. And isn't it interesting? This is all black except the mint color, which is green. And then we have emerald, which is green. So that green color is an important part of this reading too. And, um, you know, that's the heart chakra. That opening up your heart. And then we have the blue of the throat in the dragonfly speaking, speaking your truth. Okay. We have Neptune, Scorpio, second house saturn okay so we have scorpio energy coming energy coming through scorpio can rule ending so that could be a connection there we have neptune neptune is that beautiful energy of romance it's a higher octave of romance but it can also be c confusion Okay, it can also be Pisces energy. The second house in astrology is about your values, valuing yourself, things you value, what you attract, and also the income and earnings for you. So there could be a connection with work and love in this uh, reading. And Saturn. Saturn is, Saturn is, you know, seven year cycle, 7, 14, 28. Um, it's also Capricorn energy as well as Aquarius and ancient astrology. And it could be connected to the winter time. It could also be connected to work or someone older. Okay. So all of those messages are coming through. I am going to do a charm reading today. Let's see what messages the charms have. Okay. So you have the moon which is that emotional connection. Um, you have, this is perfectionism and work and sometimes Virgo energy. So um, there could be a connection there. Oh, you have the artist palette. Someone could be an artist. Um, but this can also be about trying different things, right? Trying, expanding. You have a whole palette to play with. Um, we have Aquarius. Or is this Virgo? Wait a minute, let me look. Uh, I believe that is, yeah, I think that's Aquarius. I think that's the water bearer. Yeah, so we have Aquarius energy and the sheep. Wow. So maybe the sheep means something to you. Maybe you love sheep or have like, I just keep seeing a little sheep sweater. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, if that message is for you, please write it below. Um, 
But yeah, I, I really see this as you expanding. There's some sort of change being made. There's some focus on communication that's coming up for you when it comes to love. Something big is changing, but it's going to feel good. It's refreshing. And you're moving towards that four of wands, that beautiful stability, possibly engagement, and um, maybe a family occasion, a ceremony, an engagement could also bring in love for you. Okay, so those are your messages for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Write all your comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and come back real soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, number three, you were drawn to the message of the fox and... I love this fox. I love this fox in this deck. This is a really great partner card. The fox is really known in this deck as someone who's a really great teacher, someone who's really smart in business, um, and also someone that's a really great partner. The only warning with this card is like slipping away, fear of commitment, that kind of thing. So Overall, it's a really, really positive card for the love energy or a love reading and for partnership. Okay, so let's see how it comes together for you today. What's coming next in love for my beautiful number three? Ah, that's beautiful. Ten of Cups. That's pretty darn good. Kind of the best emotional connection, family, happily ever after card you can get. Wow, the two of cups, <laughs> pretty much one of the two best cards in the deck to get for love and partnership. Um, there's the lovers and there's the two of cups and you got the two of cups and look at this one. It's like I said, great partner, great mate. That's what Fox is. Wow. Okay. We got some beautiful energy coming. A lot of cups, which is water in the tarot. That can be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. It's also about emotional connection. Wow. Oops. Oh, wow. Beautiful. The Emperor. Okay. This is a powerful reading. <laughs> I think you won on this one. Um... I'll tell you what's coming, a beautiful partnership. That's what's coming for you, okay? And I don't know if you've met already or not. If you have, congratulations. You've got a really nice nice situation here. Um, you have happiness. Either you come from a very solid base of love, of family, um, you know, wanting children, having people around you that you love, a lot of emotional support, or your partner does, or the two of you will have this. Um, this is someone coming in who is going to be a really perfect mate, somebody that just matches you. This can also be a really great friend, but there's also devotion, true love. We have two roses here. See the red color popping out? That's devotion. Woo! So we have this huge, beautiful, emotional connection. We have devotion, true partnership, and we have stability with the emperor. The emperor, look at the tree. This is someone you can grow something with. This is someone you can count on. This is, the emperor is strong. The emperor knows who they are, has a lot of self-confidence, is very good with money. This can be Aries energy doesn't have to be but this is someone who's just very powerful in control and solid right it's a number four which is a solid number this is definitely <laughs> this is a great reading wow I just feel like stopping right there and saying I'll tell you what's coming you got it you've got what everybody wants I am really really happy for you okay um in terms of signs, we have obviously Aries and we have the water signs coming through. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but those are the signs. Now I'm going to pull you a crystal message from the Oracle. What do you need today? Number three. What's coming for number three? Expansion. Yes, I would definitely say expansion is coming with the Emperor. The emperor is ready to grow, grow, grow. Look at that tall, tall tree. Number 27, opal, north node. This is your destiny. That's what's coming. This could be a Libra or an October birthday. 
that could be important. And the number 27. And I'm just going to throw Virgo in there for good measure just because I got that message. So I'm saying it. <laughs> it's not really here, but I'm feeling it. Okay. Um, you've got... You've got a karmic connection. You have something that you're meant to, you have a person you're meant to connect with. This is a partnership. This is true love. This is part of your destiny. There is um, October and Libra energy around this connection as well as Aries and some water sign or um, just a very strong emotional connection between you and your partner. This is beautiful. I mean, I am not kidding. This is really, really nice. Okay. There's going to be a lot of expansion for the two of you, a lot of growth, a lot of financial expansion. This is a true, true partnership, true love partnership. Oops. Going public. I heart tea. Yes. This is going to be going public, meaning I think there'll be an engagement, a marriage, some sort of an announcement about the two of you. It's going to be very clear to everyone around you that you two are serious, okay? This is not a connection that you're going to hide. This is going to be very public. This is a formal connection, okay? Wow. Let's roll the astro dice. Let's see what other signs and symbols come up for you. There's the North Node. Yay. Oh, my God. And the four landed on the Emperor, the four card. Okay. See why I do the Astro Dice, you guys? Look. There it is. Okay. Confirmation of that. We have confirmation here. The four, the Emperor. We have Venus. Confirmation of true love. And we have Capricorn coming up out of the blue. So we also have Capricorn. Now, Capricorns can be really good with money and emperor energy as well. That could also be a connection to work or to someone with Capricorn placement. Um, wow. I'm like almost breathless over this. This is really, really good. Okay. Now, I'm going to roll. I'm going to um, do a charm reading too for you today. So let's see. What do we have for number three? You have the beautiful open heart of true love, expansion, which was another word that came up for you today. And also I think of that heart as expansion. And I think of the emperor as expansion too, because it's about growing money, growing a business, growing. Oh my God, you got two. Oh, look at this. The two of cups, which is like that perfect match. And you got two of the open hearts, two of the moons. Oh my God. And look at this. I'm literally out of breath. Two of the moons matching. Okay. And <laughs> the two hearts interlocking. Okay. What's coming? I mean, look at this. And you have the beautiful dove, the message of peace. It's like, it's just, it works. It's easy. It's, there's no friction here. This is all working. It's just feels so good. You have the kitty cat. Maybe some of you are um, cat people. Maybe there's a Leo involved. Um, also, it, it kind of looks like a Halloween cat. So maybe there's something about Halloween. And you have the coffee pot or teapot, um, which could be some connection to like meeting at a coffee shop. Maybe you love coffee or tea. Maybe there's a connection to like a grandparent or someone that you shared a cup of coffee or tea with that there's like some there's, you know, everyone will have a different connection for charms. But um, if that is really resonating right below and tell me why, because I feel a hit about that particularly. Um, Wow. So we have possibly Libra October time frame, which is right around the corner. We have this beautiful energy of love, stability. There's so much stability here in this connection. This is something that's going to be public, meaning it's going to be, there's going to be some sort of commitment, announcement, something public about your connection. This is 
exciting number three i'm so happy for you i'm sending you so much love thanks for being here don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and write all your comments below i am sending you so much love and i'll see you back here in just a couple of days take care hey number four you were drawn to the message of the turtle spirit and I love this card and I love turtles in general, but turtle spirit is an old soul. This is someone who's traveled. This is someone who has a lot of stories to tell, can even be a writer, someone who um, loves to talk, somebody who's uh, very comfortable in their own skin, somebody who's got depth, somebody who could also, it, it can indicate like an adventure is coming or you're gonna be moving around. Um, you know, the turtle is, earth and water energy so it's very it very much is about growth and creation so some of you may be on the move some of you may be connecting with someone who's traveled a lot somebody who's lived a, like a full life doesn't matter how old they are they just have like a lot of stories to tell let's see what comes up Ooh, okay so there you go we have the devil reversed letting go of some past old stuff moving away that can be capricorn energy it can be toxic behaviors connections relationships um like the beautiful queen of pentacles oh there's the earth energy right at the center here that's someone who's nurturing that's a provider that's someone who's protective who makes sure everyone has what they need who grows things who's stable beautiful okay and the three of wands that's that's oh, bottom of the deck i couldn't help but look the hermit okay um so i feel like your story is that you are going to connect with someone who really understands you somebody who makes you feel safe because they've been through enough that they have like an understanding of other people in a deep deep way i feel like there is a delay here okay i feel like this is there's like there's a connection with someone at a distance but you're not able to be together right away we have virgo energy virgo capricorn coming through so this is earth sign um possibly doesn't have to be those signs this is someone really wise that's that energy right here because look in this card the hermit's a turtle oh my god look at that okay so it's like the turtles cut all all sucked in there in a shell and the turtles coming out so for some of you you're going to be coming out of your shell you're going to be connecting with someone who understands who you are who values you who wants to nurture and connect with you in a really positive way and i feel like some of you are leaving behind a difficult connection or a difficult past and moving towards being able to come come back out of your shell and reconnect with people that are really supportive i know that was really quick but this one was so easy and exact <laughs> and like i said some of you also may connect with someone who's at a distance and you have to put some planning into it and there's some travel involved in the two of you being together but yeah this is all about you coming out of the difficult situation and very strong very solid and secure some of you may even have a child that you have taken care of and protected um, some of you may be having children in this connection or in the future because we do have the mother with the baby here um, beautiful energy really i love the connection with the hermit and the turtle card it's killing me um and the hermit's all about wisdom inner wisdom taking a step back and going within like the turtle is pulling the head in look the little body inside and there is the light that's that's this that's the wisdom that's the light of the universe and look taking it and sharing it moving this turtle's moving this turtle's staying still see so and this is about a delay this is about plans that you want to go or you want to do but something holds you back a little bit so there could be a little delay here but i do see ultimately you connecting with beautiful energy that's supportive that's nurturing and that's all about growth love and protection lots of earth lots of earth and letting go of connections 
behaviors, addictions, whatever it is, um, moving away from those because you have the devil reverse. So, which is the best way to get the devil. We don't want to see the devil upright. We don't mind reversed. Okay. Wow. That was really good. Okay. <laughs> Let's get you a message from the crystal oracle about what's coming next in love for number four. You have number 22, Perspective, Larimar, Neptune. Okay, Perspective. Now, Neptune can be deceit. Neptune can be beautiful, romanticized things. Neptune can be um, artistic, creative um, but it also can be confusion. This is about getting perspective by stepping back and stepping away. There's a lot here about perspective and reflection. You have the hermit card too. Um, so it's like going within to find those answers. But it also brings in the water element to your reading. Turtles, like I said, are both water and earth. You had almost all earth. We had the fire reverse there. And now we have the water element of Neptune coming through, which is the water energy, which the turtle needs. So I think that you're going to be getting nourished. You're going to be getting what you need emotionally coming up so that you can swim, so that you can walk, so that you can do all the things that you love to do um, after a retreat, after you know, going within because of maybe this difficult energy with the devil. Whatever that was for you, it'll be different for different people. But it represents some sort of struggle, whether it's with a person or an ex or your own stuff. But I see you moving and I see you swimming <laughs> with Neptune towards something much more stable, happy and productive. OK, if you've been struggling financially, too, I see that as, you know, improving a really big way. So that's coming. Oh, I love this one. What do we have for number four? What's coming next in love? New beginning. Oh, yay. You're leaving that behind. You're swimming off the little turtle. You've got a new beginning. You have a new connection coming. And I see that you've been through some difficult times. So I think that that's really beautiful. Yeah, you have hurt. You're moving away from a hurt. Okay, you're moving away from a hurt. You're moving towards a connection. You're new, moving towards a new beginning, a new opportunity. I'm going to pull you one more. Yes. Okay, here he is. You're moving away from a player, the devil energy. Okay, the devil energy could be you too. Maybe you were the player. But I see whatever this is that wasn't good for you, moving away and embracing a much better, healthier version and a really beautiful connection that honors you, that honors your wisdom, that honors who you are, allows you to be both. Like, I feel like you are that combination of that water and the earth. Like, sometimes you want this, sometimes you want that, and that's okay. You're going to get a new beginning. That's what's coming for you, number four. I'm so excited. I love this reading. Okay, let me grab. I want this one. Let's see what we have for number four. Any other messages for number four? Ah, there's Neptune, Pisces energy. We have Jupiter, good luck, good fortune. I knew it. Eighth house, transformation and change. And Aquarius. Aquarius energy could be a connection to friends too. Or there could be an Aquarius person um, coming in for this new beginning. So yeah, Ooh, I love it. Now, let's get you some charms. Okay. Was there one in there already? Was the little kitty cat from before? It might have been. Okay, so we got an extra. We got a little kitty cat. This could be Halloween. This can be a Leo. We have the owl. For those of you that owl is a message, for me it's Capricorn energy and confirmation of the devil here. We have the peace sign. Moving from strife to peace is definitely part of this. Um, you know, you've got the sun 
and you did have the cat. So some of you could be Leos or have Leo energy connected to this relationship or this new beginning for you in love. Uh, but this is also about patience because for my own reasons, which I won't go into, this charm represents patience for me. So that could also be connected to taking time to yourself, um, planning, you know, maybe having some delays in something you want to do in a move you want to make, but just know the universe is supporting you and ultimately you are going to make that move because you're going from the hermit here to the turtle on the move. Okay, so all of this has brought you a lot of wisdom. All of this has brought you this perspective. You're going to take it with you and you're going to be very successful. The queen of pentacles is power. Okay, it's strength. So congratulations you've been through it but you are moving to a better place okay and you're taking all your stories with you and you're going to connect with a new beginning in love so yay i love it okay that's your beautiful reading for today number four i really enjoyed this one i can't wait to hear all your comments so write them below don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's free just hit the button and i'll see you back here in a couple of days take care